Welcome to our second episode of uh, What's in My Collection. Okay, so after Brian, it's obviously my turn to show my sneaker collection. This is my actual humble collection. <laughs> yeah, ignore Brian, Brian's not very humble. This is my actual humble collection. So, uh, like I've mentioned in previous sneak peek before, I actually started with collecting basketball sneakers lah, because I used to be a basketballer. But because uh, the NBA is so tight with the streetwear culture, so I started getting into like uh, hype, hype sneakers per se, and then started collecting all these sneakers that you see now. Lah. Here is my Nike section, as you can see, not a lot. And here is my Adidas section. Lah. I used to be more team Adidas, that's why you will see a bit more Adidas sneakers than Nike. Okay, so if you're wondering why there are empty sneaker boxes, I'm now currently in a transitional phase where uh, I think every sneaker can go through this transitional phase where you sell your sneakers to fund for more stuff, like how Brian sold his Adidas. So, yeah, yeah, so, so, so what are you funding, baby? Uh, no, I just. It's just adulting lah. Yeah, oh, resp responsibilities, adulting. Baby. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, but, but, but yeah, for other stuff, uh, that's why there's an empty rack. In case you're wondering why. Okay, guys, so we're going to the QA section for Mr. David here. Favorite shoe? Uh, I would have to say. <laughs> the TDs right here, the Turtle Doves. Yeah. So this pair. I would say it's my first sneaker that I really spent like over $1,000 on because I really like it and it's actually my second pair actually. I had, I had a chance to buy it uh, that time when I was in the army when I was serving NS lah, but I had to sell it again <laughs> for uh, reasons. Lah. So because I really love this shoe a lot, I ended up picking up another pair lah. so this is my second pair of TDs. Okay, so I, why I really like it is I feel like it's one of the first Adidas Easy's that I really like lah. I mean, his first Adidas Easy was the 750s but I feel like I couldn't really pull that off but I feel like this is just really very easy to wear with a lot of uh, different outfits and it's just, yeah, the hype also lah. <laughs> I guess I like it for the hype and the a uh, way you can wear it with a lot of outfits. I mean, obviously it's a basketball sneaker, but it's not in my collection. But it, one that is, in, it is currently in my collection right now is actually the 1.0 Ultra Boots. So I think this was one of the shoes that I got into uh, one of the first pair of like, not say hype, lah, but normal sneaker that I got into because I think previously before this pair, I actually just collected purely basketball sneakers but I think Kanye, you know the Kanye effect, he uh, went to Adidas and this was one of the first few pairs that he started rocking la. so I saw it and I really fell in love with it and there was a period of time where I just constantly only wear this shoe for anything, hiking, uh, going out with my friends, everything, I just wear this pair. La. So and how much do you spend on this shoe? I know it was has, has, has oh, yeah, all right. right. At that time, I think it was going around. Retail was about two something, but I paid about three. I can't remember three or four. I think I think three. But current at that time, resale value was about four. But I managed to find a steel deal from some guy on Carousel. Yeah. I think other than the turtle doves, I also have Sean Weatherspoons. Yeah. So this. Sean Weatherspoon is my most expensive sneaker. La. I mean, the first time, I mean, the, the first time when it released in 2017, the resale value wasn't too high. I think it was about 8, 9. But then, uh, the, because I think there was news that Sean Weatherspoon was no longer working with Nike. So, and this ended up shooting up a lot, la, the price. So, uh, I think I got it during the second time around with so it was a bit more expensive but I probably got it around 1-ish, 1 point something or so so I think now current research is about what, 1 point, 1 point, 9, 4, 1 point, 4, 4, 4, 4 like a brand DS pair la. so yeah, I think currently this is my most expensive sneaker Ooh, I have a very good cool pair okay, so I don't keep a lot of basketball sneakers in my sneaker collection, like the boxes, but this is why I keep this because 
uh, this uh, holds a special place in my heart lah. So uh, on the day that Kobe Bryant retired, I actually uh, watched his game when he scored 60 points and then I went out to immediately purchase a pair of Kobe's lah. Uh, this was one of the few colorways that, that, that was on the shelf at the time and he was this was his latest sneaker lah in the center, Kobe 11s. So I bought it and then I had a very cool conversation with the person at Food Factory. The person that sold me this was like, oh, do you watch his final game? And I was like, yeah, 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 I watched it. And then we, we sat there and uh, talked for about 30 to 40 minutes after buying this shoe. Lah. So I think it was a very cool experience and um, a good memory. Lah. His retirement shoe, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. <-E> Kobe. <laughs> yes, R.I.P. -E Kobe. I think the sneaker I wear the most, I have a lot of beaters, la. a lot of them are outside, like my vans and stuff But in my current rotation, I would say it's either the Black Dunks or my Easy 350 Cream Whites la. New you, see, I, yeah. <laughs> you see I beat them up to like really shit really la. But yeah, I think these two and mostly these la, I think nowadays Because I, like nowadays I wear Adidas pants so I don't want to clash with by wearing Nike la. Yes. Yes. So I don't know. I just feel like it's a very clean. Okay, it's not very clean now, but I just felt like in the beginning it was a very clean colorway where uh, you really can wear anything and match with this. I wear jeans, shorts, anything I can match with this because white sneakers are very uh, easy to pair with. Ooh. <laughs> oh. um, I don't think I've ever really uh, okay, I actually have a few lah, but like I mentioned before, I mean the TDs are regular selling, but I managed to get them back. But I sold a few pairs of like, off whites. I mean, okay, I, I didn't really wear them very often, but it was very nice to have them in the collection lah. Like I, I think my I have the desert all Michigan dunks and stuff. It was very nice to see the collection because very bright, but I sold them all. And then I have a few Jordans like the Brads, the Fearless. Oh, and then I have to share that I, one of the reasons why I regretted selling my Jordans was because I sold a few of, I, I sold a few pairs before the last dance documentary came out. So I sold them at like 200 plus, 300 plus. But <laughs> after I sold them, right, the next week I checked, oh, last dance came out, and then the prices of Jordans just shot up. Like the pairs that I was selling at, I could have sold them for 400, 500, but I sell 200 plus, 300. <laughs> so I, that's why I think, yeah, that was like one of the few reasons why I regretted selling. But yeah, I'll be sad. <laughs> Yes, this one me and Brian talk about this a lot. The TS Fragment Lows. Okay, I'm not a very big fan of the highs, uh, but I really like the lows because I, I really like that like, creamish colorway that they have on certain parts of the sneaker. And yeah, I think that's number one on my wish list right now that I want to get. I think secondly, I want to get is probably the, the off white, the 50 pairs. I, uh, one, of, one of them, lah, because I really like the. Like, very neutral colorway they have them added with that extra bright lace that one of them have. I, it doesn't matter which color I get, I just hopefully I can get my hands on one of them. Yeah. Except for the black one, I don't really like the black one. <laughs> okay, so previously I think I, my collecting style was uh, I really just buy whatever is like hype in a sense because previously uh, when I was in NS, I didn't have responsibilities lah. So whenever I get my NS pay, I just buy 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 buy. So I think previously I had like forty pairs, but then a lot of times I don't really wear them. So now I think my current style is after I sell all those away. I think my current style is just uh, buying what you like lah. I think that's very important. I think a lot of people like me last time. I fell into the hype train where I just buy what other people like, but what I don't like. But I think I have now. Um, kept my collection to sneakers that I mainly I like myself and I really enjoy wearing them rather than what's hype like what's hype out there lah yeah that's why I feel turbulence in there I know it's nothing hype but take I them mean, out take them out <laughs> yeah turbulence runners, turbulous runners. Oh. nothing hype but I really like it lah I mean so I have a few of these in my collection yeah so yeah and yeah that's I think that's one of the best advice I can give anybody is just really buy what you like. Like, don't fall for the hype. I fell for the hype too many times. Don't fall for it. Just buy what you like. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have come to the end of yet another episode. Me and Brian are done with our collection. So now, uh, 
go and explore other Singaporean sneakerheads collection. A lot of you all have already reached out and uh, want to show your collection, uh, so we can't wait to go and like you know check out more rare and cool sneaker collections. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you in the next next video. Bye.